The plutonium was detected around the nuclear power plants that are damaged and still being battled to keep them under control. This isn't particularly surprising. Uh, that we would expect to see this because there have been other radioactive releases of other radionuclides, as they're called. Now, plutonium, though, has a, a special mystique. When people hear the word plutonium, they think about bombs, and, and that's appropriate. That's what bombs are made of. But our ability to measure and detect plutonium is so incredibly sensitive that it doesn't necessarily mean that this is an immediate risk. People get nervous when they hear the word. Um, but it, what it does tell us is that it bears watching. There's plutonium in the soils now. We need to pay very careful attention. If even the worst were to happen, if we had a complete meltdown, for example, of one of the spent fuel pools, there would be an awful lot of radiation released. But the next question is, how hot is the source? How high up in the sky does it get released? Yes, potentially there is a chance that radioactivity could travel even across the ocean. But the likelihood of that, and, and even if it were to happen, the amount and the intensity of the radiation would be so minimal. What is really uh, of concern is the immediate vicinity of the reactor. And by immediate vicinity, I mean 10, 20, maybe even 30 miles out. And the longevity of it. How long are these radionuclides going to stay in the soil, in the water? And that's, like with Chernobyl, like even with Three Mile Island, we're going to have to continue to watch this decades out. My fear is that people who live around that power plant won't be able to return there to live. They're, they're going to have to be relocated.